Okay, my name is Adrian. Welcome to the channel English with Adrian, helping you to expand your English, increase your confidence, and speak like a native Englishman. Today, let's look at no and none. Hmm, what do they mean? What are they talking about? And how do you use them in English? Real good, real good question. So, both of them indicate that something is missing. Something's gone. Something is not here. Where is it? Or absent. It's, it's vanished. No is used with nouns. And non replaces the noun. So no noun. And non something. I have no bottle. Or no water in the bottle. There's none left. None left. No is used with uncountable or plural countable nouns. Hmm. So uncountable. You can't count it. Water. I have no water. Lemonade. I have no lemonade. Hmm. Or plural countable nouns. I have no bottles. I have got no bottles left to, left to drink from. No bottles. One bottle, two bottle. Plural. More than one. Countable. You can count them. But lemonade. Uncountable. How much lemonade? I have no lemonade left to drink. No lemonade left. Yeah. There was no fuel in the car. You try, turn, try and turn the engine on? Doesn't work. Empty. No fuel, no gas, no gasoline, no benzene, no petrol, no diesel. Doesn't work. I have no spices for the meal. Spices. I have no ice cream for dessert. I have no oh no ice cream. I have no I have no ties or bow ties. For my for my thing, my shirt. I've got suspenders but no bow ties. This place has no seats. There's no seats left. There's no seats. Over there, over here? No. <sighs> no seats left. No seats are free. No nothing more. No more seats. There's no more water. No more. No more, it's gone. But no and noun. No and nouns for emphasis. Yeah. No does also mean not yet. But their context varies. Like not yet. There weren't any spaces left. There weren't any spaces left. There was no room left. There's no spaces left for the car to park. Maybe not yet. Not yet. Maybe come back later. There weren't any people there. Ah, oh. there weren't any people there. Just no one, no one was there with the noun. People, no one was there. Meaning there were no people at the party. No people at the party. Then you could say, um, let's think. Uh, whew, it's not a very nice one. Here's a wallet. There isn't any money. Well, in this case, there is. There is no money in the wallet, but there always is. Different story. Cool. Then let's have a look. Say good saving. There's no books of interest. There's no books of interest in the bookstore. There's always a book that's worthwhile having. Always. Using no can indicate surprise or disappointment. Whoa! I did not see that coming. There is no one at the party. Whoa! Where is everyone? There's no one at school. They're all inside watching the World Cup. There's no one here. A disappointment. Oh, so thirsty. There's no water left. No water left. No water. No water, no hope. No hope. No survival in the desert. Sahara desert. No survival. Mm. But none. It can replace no... And the noun to show something is missing. Something's not there. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, oh there was no chance to get a good, good night's sleep last night. Oh, there's no one to sleep with. I wanted some cooking books, but there was none for sale. I wanted some water, but there was none in the jug. Hmm. Non is used before the pronoun and nouns with determiners. 
Yeah. But there were none left. There's very little left. There's next to nothing left. I have... I wanted to read, but none of these books were interesting to me. None of these books were interesting. Maybe those books over there might be interesting, but these ones, not really. Mm. I wanted to watch a video, but none of these videos were long enough. They were all boring as well. They're not what you want. Yeah, not what you want. Yeah. I wanted to go to sleep, but none of the beds were that comfortable. So, ah, I didn't go to sleep. It's overrated anyway. Don't need it. None of your books were for sale. None of your books were for sale. So look, none goes before the pronoun, your books. None, none of your books, books, were for sale. None of them were for sale. I couldn't find them. I could not find them. None can be used by itself as an answer that talks about quantity. Now, quantity is how many? <laughs> quantity, like a little bit? A little bit? Or a lot. Yeah. So we could say then, uh, how many people were at the party? None. No one. No one I knew was at the party. There was not no one there. None. No one that I knew. There were people there, but I don't know any of these people. I don't know who they are. But there was there was none at my party, but there was loads at his party. No one. Um how many books were for sale? None for me, but there was loads of other people. There were no no books of interest. Of interest? Eh, no. Eh, no. Eh, no. Not interest in that one, not interest in this one. No. But I wanted some tea. To tea. But there was none left. Where's all the tea gone? There's none, no tea left. No tea. How many cupcakes do you have? Cupcakes. I'm um, nom 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 nom. None. Oh. None. Again, plural. Noun. No cupcakes left. Oh. I wanted to buy a new chair. But I could not find any. There was none that looked interesting. I could not find the one I wanted. No, I don't want that one. No, I don't want that one. No. Mm -hmm. This suit feels amazing. It feels amazing. It is like none I've had before. It's one of a kind. I've not had one like this before. None like this. None feel like this. But how many red ties do I have? Red ties. None. How many red, how many red bow ties though? <whistles> bow tie. Try and get a nice bow tie. Oh, it's not a bow tie. Nice bow tie. Like this. Nice bow tie. Yeah, not quite. Nice bow tie. Um, I think I have one. Yeah, yeah, I think I've got one somewhere. I think so. Yeah, I've got one. <laughs> one. Not none. I've got one. But I don't have any red ties. How many red ties do you have? None. How many suspenders do you have? None. I have a few. But you don't have none. You have none. I got a few. How many books do I have about English? A few. But um, but I have no books here. How to learn Spanish? I think I have one about German. Oh, no, I don't. What about no no books about Spanish, and very few about English? Hmm. I'll call it that. So no and none both indicate something is missing and it's not there. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. However. If you want to keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, and increasing your confidence, and speak like a native Englishman, then hit the subscribe button below, and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, bye for now.